Tandem, Cantero, Reina Correa de Sousa, Hua, Dorsman, Tomita, Serbin, Cabraja and Smirnov is scratched from lane eight. A man who might have been in contention, but... So Dorsman gets off to a very good start, which is traditional with the Dutch. They very much work on their block starts, getting the explosive movement off the uh, starting blocks, which does give them an advantage. He uses his underwater well and a very good streamlined swimmer. And this is where you're going to start to see the swimmer is going out, but not quite as hard as you would see in other races on this evening session, because this is a distance race at 400 meters. At this. Here they are into the first 50. So uh, Dorsman, he didn't have the best first 50, but he's usually not the one that's out ahead. He'll start to take it here now, the second half of this first 100, and then he'll, he'll come into the 200. Now, for this classification, because they're using losing black and goggles, that means they can't see the line at the bottom of the pool. They can't see any of the light. They couldn't, if they were on their back, see their backstroke flags. They can't even see the swimmers around them. So it's important that they swim their own race. We talk about that in practice, you know, you can't really pay attention to the person to your left and to your right. And that's critical for these swimmers. The other important thing in this race is that it's they need to swim in the middle of the pool. They need to swim in a straight line. Sometimes when they zigzag back and forth, it adds extra meters onto what is already a 400 meter length. And the more distance you have to cover, the more time you're going to add. So Dorsman, he's doing an excellent job right now. He's hugging the land line, which helps him to stay relatively straight, but without zigzagging at the same time. So as it stands, Dorsman is leading. Who are of China, it touches in second, while uh, Tomita Uchu is touching in third overall. Serban is just off uh, Uchu's pace, but loses a little off the wall, does uh, Serban. His turn's not quite as, as impressive, but Dorsman is swimming his own race, he's swimming his own pace, and he's an incredibly consistent swimmer as well. And he will know that if he puts in what he is used to doing, he is likely to win this race regardless. He started with a 29.5 and subsequently has gone 33s in the opening uh, 200. 33, 33, 33 in the subsequent 50 meters yep. at the halfway mark. He looks good. He's out faster than he was this morning. I think right now, if you look at Tomita, he can't see, you know, it's unfortunate that he can't see his position because there really is a race shaping up right now for second, third, and fourth. And right now, Tomita, he's at Dorsman's feet. He may be able to feel a little bit of those waves, probably not as Dorsman starts to move ahead. But uh, generally, if, if they stay kind of hovering on that lane line without actually crashing into it, it will help oh. them stay straight. Now, Dorsman has mistimed his, uh, his turn. He barely touched the wall there. And that is certainly seen some valuable time lost, not getting the power off the wall, not being able to use any sense of underwater. Tomita is holding on nicely, the 32-year-old. Yeah, but Dorsman, I mean, he was so far ahead. And as he approaches the wall, you know, this is hard for the swimmers who are using black and goggles. They typically count their strokes. And when they get, when they get that tap, they should know how many strokes they need in order to get into the wall and to time that turn right. There, there it is. He hit perfectly and now is able to use the underwater kick to propel himself up. But sometimes if that tap is a little bit off the timing, it can also affect their approach into the turn. But it's also going to affect his rhythm and that's something for a swimmer who is so incredibly consistent. Yes. Posting 33s, he's suddenly gone 36 and now he knows he's got 100 meters left without any real sense of who is around him. And that might upset him, but for now, he looks like he's doing more than enough to hold on for the gold medal here as he approaches the, uh, the turn at 3.50 with Tomi Uchu of Japan, the host nation, holding on for second spot overall. He's maintained his lead over Hua, and he and Dorsman are the only two who touch under four minutes at the 3.50 mark. It is Dorsman who is looking to bring this one home. Dorsman who was hoping that he could somehow pull out a world record swim here. But a man who has overcome adversity and said that this Paralympic Games has just changed his world so significantly. He's coming home to be a Paralympic champion, and indeed he does relatively comfortably. It's outside of his best time. Tomita, for the host nation, takes the silver medal while bronze goes the way of Hua Dongdong.
the 100 meter champion, a bronze medalist in the world 400 free. He's a bronze medalist again at the Paralympic Games. Serbian of Ukraine touches fourth, the 17 year old who gains much needed experience. Dorsman, the world champion, is now a Paralympic champion as well. The Souza of Brazil touches fifth, while Cantero touches sixth and seventh is Cabraja for Canada. The winner from the Netherlands on an evening in which Netherlands are expected to not quite clean up but have a pretty good session. Dorsman has got off the, uh, the Dutch challenge by winning gold in the 400 free S11. Tomita, what a swim. Tomita Uchu. Uchu means space when translated from Japanese to, uh, to English. In fact, there are many who in the swimming world refer to him as Spaceman. Well, Here's Dorsman coming in. He's got that fast Dutch start and he comes up and he goes out very, very well. Here he is. He's right in the middle of the pool and he continues that very strong pace hovering right next to the lane line to make sure that he doesn't add too much extra distance. And he looks good as he approaches the wall. And here you saw it. It's the timing of the tap and that it affects your rhythm, it affects your speed coming out, but he does, you know, he had that slower 50 in there, but he is able to recover nicely. He still went 428, a very respectable swim on his end. He'll take it, but that 36.05 might very well have upset his time. It was never going to be challenging for the world record, but the world champion is a Paralympic Games gold medalist. And for Hua Dongdong, the 22-year-old from China looks delightful.